Are you starting a research proposal and you're not quite sure how to write your research proposal introduction? I know this can be really frustrating because you're staring at a blank screen and you just want the words down on the page but you just can't seem to figure out how to format it or even how to start. In this video, I'm going to help you by talking about exactly how to write your research proposal introductions. If you're still trying to figure out your research proposal idea, get my 30 day research jumpstart guide below. It's really going to help you to develop ideas and develop a research plan around those ideas. Today, let's talk about the research proposal introductions. When you're writing a research proposal, what you're basically writing is sales copy. You're trying to convince someone to give you money by showing that your research is really good and is going to help your field forward. In sales copy, the biggest purpose is to get the reader to read the next sentence. If they keep reading on, they're going to get all the information that they need about what you're trying to sell them. In this case, you're trying to sell them a research proposal. So that's going to be your main focus throughout your research introduction is every single sentence should be leading them into reading the full research plan so that they can actually want to give you money to support your research. So let's talk about your first sentence of your research proposal. In this sentence, you want to immediately tell the reader why this research is important and what you're going to be doing in this proposal. When you do this, you are letting the reader know what they can expect and instantly telling them why they should read your proposal and why it's going to be important. This is going to be really helpful for you to be able to get the reader kind of hooked in and wanting to read it. And the more that they feel like this was made for them and the easier it is for them to read, the better taste in their mouth they're going to have about your proposal, which may mean that if your research plan is good, the more likely you're going to get funded. So once you have your first sentence done, you really want to hit on three main points in your research proposal. So we're going to go over each of these in depth. The first main point that you want to hit on is the significance of your research proposal or your plan. So when thinking about your significance, you want to answer the question, why would someone fund a proposal in this research area? And so it may not be specifically your specific proposal because that's going to come in more when you're going into your research plan. But even in your field, why is your field important? Why is the research that you're specifically doing important? Some examples of how to do this is if you're studying a specific disease, talk about some of the impact of that disease. How many people have it? What is the quality of life? that people who have this go through and how does this contribute to the mission of the body and the specific mechanism that you're submitting your proposal to. Other ways to do this is specifically addressing the mechanism you're submitting to. So if you're submitting to something like an NSF proposal, you want to think about how is your research going to further their mission. And so their mission is primarily to fund really fundamental science and to gain a bigger understanding of the scientific world at large. And so if you're going to study something specific, you want to talk about why this research is important to understand. If it has an impact to society, you want to mention that as well, even if it's not something specific like a disease. The first part of your research proposal introduction should primarily be focused on telling the reader why what you're studying is so important to study and why they should consider funding it. Once you've completed the significance part, you then want to cover what the reader needs to know to understand your research. If once they get into your research plan, the reader needs to start Googling a bunch of things to even understand the research you're going to perform, they are going to be much less likely willing to fund it because they're not going to go Google those things. That is taking extra time on their part and you're asking too much of them. You actually want to include everything they need to know within your research proposal introduction. Whatever you're studying, you want to make sure that the reader understands what it is you're studying and what are the processes that you're specifically going to be researching. If there are certain types of things that you're researching, such as certain experimental parameters, um, certain differences or anything like that, you want to be able to tell that reader exactly what they need to know so that they can understand your research plan. 
you also want to give some of the background information to show that one, you know what's been done in this field before, and to easily let the reader understand how your research is going to fit into the context of what's going on in your field. If you don't provide this literature, they may need, feel like they need to go and figure out, is this proposal really novel? And if you do provide this literature, you can directly tell them how it is novel. You want to tell them how you're adding on to the field by first showing what the field has done, and then you can explicitly say, this proposal is going to add to this research by doing X, Y, and Z. This leads into the third thing you want to include in your research proposal introduction which is what is your proposal actually going to do and how is that going to impact the field? So it's a really easy transition from the background knowledge and what has been done in your field to then going into what is your proposal going to do by simply saying to add to this research, we're going to do X, Y, and Z. Then you can give about a paragraph explanation of what you plan on completing and the research plan that you're going to talk about. And then finally, finishing it out with a statement about how that's going to actually impact your field at large. Overall, your goal with your research proposal introduction is to make your reader care about the research that you're going to perform and be prepared and able to understand your research plan with minimal effort on their part. The more effort that you're asking your reader to put in, the less likely you're going to be to get funded because ultimately you're writing a lower quality proposal because you're leaving a lot of information out or you're including so much information that they have to really decipher through what's important for them to understand or they're understanding a large amount of information even though they don't need to. And that can cause really frustration on the reader's part. So writing your research proposal introduction is really about having a first sentence that captures the reader by telling them why your proposal field is important and what you're going to do and then including three key components to your research proposal introduction. The first one being the significance of your field, the second one being the background knowledge they need to understand your research plan and the context that this research is being performed in, and then the third is what you're going to do and the impact it is going to make. If you're still struggling in creating your plan or those research ideas, make sure you get my 30 day research jumpstart guide, which is going to be available below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.